So right now we are in Camp Jurassic. It reopened, it's one of the kiddie play areas. They also reopened another one in this park, but we're headed here. So you can get some cool views of Velocicoaster. This is also where you'll find Turn It Up Flyers, but you do need a small kid to ride. Are we able to head to the Camp Jurassic, the lava caves and stuff? All right, thank you. So we get sanitizer before entering Camp Jurassic. Thank you. And then now we'll head in. So we're gonna head down this way right now. I don't know if the nuts are open yet, so we're gonna check. Some of them might be. See, this one's blocked off. It's got a thing holding it here. So we can't really go into the nuts right now. As you can see, it's closed off. The nets are really cool. You get some really cool views up in there. We're gonna head this way and go to the little water cannons. The water cannons are pretty neat. And you can get really wet over here, so you gotta be careful if you don't wanna get wet. You know, look at this little splash pad right here. Mini splash pad. Whoa, I almost got soaked. And then you have the water blasters right over here. And you have people downstairs shooting some as well. So it's a really fun time. I'm gonna not get wet right now because I'm not planning on getting soaked. You can come back here. This is part of the nets, but they're closed off. It's really neat back here and it's kind of hidden. We're gonna go into the lava caves in the amber mine, but I'm not gonna show you where they are because you gotta explore and find them. So we're gonna go show you what it looks like inside them though. So we're entering the amber mines now. If you explore the nets, you could find them. They're not too hard to find. Pretty loud. So you got all the amber right in here. With the mosquitoes that are stuck in the amber from the Jurassic Park movies. See what it looks like inside. It made it a little brighter, so you guys can see. Definitely pretty neat though. It's a cool play area for the kids. There's a little like tunnel right here. It's more amber. It's really cool in here. And then we're gonna go over here and the dinosaur footprints. Yeah, look at these. So these make dinosaur sounds when you step on them. Let's step in the T-Rex one. There you go. is the exit this is the exit to turn it on flyers but we're gonna head into the lava cave now there's different levels in the lava cave so it's really cool to explore we're gonna head up right now it's really nice in here looks like a real cave I've never actually seen the geysers go off but apparently they do go off at some time it smells really damp in here it's wet on the floor so you don't want to slip and we are on the bottom level. They did close off this bridge here. It's part of the nets, so they don't want you there. Is that a geyser going off? I can't see, let's come around. There we go, it's a geyser. That's cool. It does look like a cool rock cave. It looks really real in here. It's pretty. The lighting and everything. Nice. And this is all in the Jurassic Park land. So once you get in here, it's amazing. There's the bridge up there. Let's get up there. That's a really cool view. It is blocked off right here. It's the other end of the rope bridge. And now we're heading to the top, the bridge up here. It's pretty neat. It's pretty high up. You get a really cool view of everything though. Look at this. This is really neat in here. It's cool. And that's the Pteranodon Flyers loading station. There's some cool waterfalls right here. We can also get a nice view of Velocicoaster. So let's come over here. 
There it goes, that's the lost coaster. So right now we're at the Echo Cave. Let's see if it works. Echo! Yeah, it does. Hello? It's like, it like takes a long time, but it gets down. Echo! There. <laughs> there you go. It works. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little Easter egg down here. That's when you first come into the Camp Jurassic area. They have a little turnoff. You can go to the Echo Cave. 